In 2026, Asia's supply chain will reach a historic turning point. The U.S.-China tech and trade war isn't just about tariffs, it's reshaping the very core of global manufacturing, Asia itself. Through pandemics, wars, and rising geopolitical tension, the world has learned a painful truth. A supply chain built only for efficiency is dangerously fragile. Now, resilience matters more than cost. And at the center of this transformation stands Asia. The United States is tightening its chip alliance to protect its technological dominance. By partnering with South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan, Washington aims to reclaim control over advanced semiconductor production. The CHIPS Act and export restrictions were only the beginning. But China is not standing still. Under its Made in China 2025 strategy, Beijing is accelerating domestic production of semiconductors, EV batteries, and rare earth materials. For China, technological independence is national security. Caught between these two giants, other Asian nations are seizing new opportunities. Vietnam, India, Thailand, and Indonesia have become key beneficiaries of the China Plus One strategy. Today, Samsung and Apple components are being assembled in Vietnam and India instead of China. Japanese automakers are expanding production hubs across Southeast Asia. The reason is simple, diversification to reduce risk. By 2026, this shift will no longer be temporary. It will be structural. The US and Japan are building semiconductor cooperation funds while the EU is strengthening partnerships with Asian firms through its Open Supply Chain Initiative. Yet every opportunity carries risk. Diversifying supply chains increases costs. Differences in technical standards, higher logistics expenses, and tougher environmental regulations are new challenges to overcome. For South Korean companies, a critical decision looms ahead. Join the US-led alliance or maintain deep ties with the vast Chinese market. This strategic balancing act has already begun. Semiconductors, batteries, AI, and robotics, these four core technologies will determine who leads the next global order beyond 2030. Asia's supply chain is no longer centered on a single nation. It's evolving into a collaborative network, a multi-layered system where each country plays a specialized role. Hem 26 will be a defining moment. The choices made today will redraw the industrial map of the next decade. Is your company and your career ready for this transformation?